Hi friends, now we will discuss on the topic gasification of coal. We will cover this topic in two classes and in the first class we will discuss on and the contents of the first class are definition and basic chemistry of gasification, gasification reaction schemes and steps, then syn gas production and efficiency and factors influencing gasification, advantages of gasification, typical process flow sheet and utilization schemes for gasification products, gasifier types, advanced gasification and some coal based gasifiers. Now, we will see what is gasification? As you have discussed in the introductory module in the previous class also, the gasification is the process which uses controlled amount of oxygen and converts carbonaceous materials into carbon monoxide and hydrogen rich gas that is called syn gas. So, in this process sometimes steam is used for coal steam is used, but for very biomass steam requirement may be very less because coal is having more carbon. So, steam is required for this process with the coal and this syn gas can be used for various applications including the liquid fuel production through the Fischer trough synthesis and if air is used in this process in place of oxygen, then the syn gas contains more amount of nitrogen and that is called a producer gas. As you have already discussed in the previous class that for oxygen and coal ratio for gasification is within 0 0.68 to 2.5 and in this case these are the products but if we increase the R then what will happen? We will be getting more CO2 and we reduce the R value we will be get more CO and H2. So, this is the basics of the gasification process. Now, we will see the chemistry the reactions what happens in what type of reactions takes place in case of gasification process. So, we have here feedstocks coal, we have oxygen and we have steam. Now, these schemes show just elemental reactions. The coal is having carbon, it is having hydrogen, it is oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, etcetera, but we are considering the major components of the coal that is carbon, we are considering in this case. So, the first reaction carbon plus half O2 controlled amount of oxygen, so CO, we are we are terming it as gasification with oxygen. So, heating value is minus 1 1. 0.5 kilojoule per mole. Combustion with oxygen can take place C plus O2 then CO2. So, this is a again exothermic reaction. So, these two reactions are exothermic reactions which provides us heat which are required for other reactions say gasification with carbon dioxide C plus C CO2. So, that is 2 CO this is endothermic reaction and C plus H2O that will also give us CO plus H2 again endothermic reaction and gasification with hydrogen that is exothermic reactions, but this heat is very less. So, C plus 2 H 2 C H 4 and at the same time under the same condition some water gas shift reaction takes place C O plus H 2 reacts to form H 2 plus C O 2 and some methanation also take place that is C O plus 3 H 2 that is C H 4 plus H 2 O these two reactions are also exothermic in nature. So, overall if we see it, it is having both exothermic and endothermic reactions. So, initially we need to provide oxygen the reactions that energy will be released that will be used for these reactions. Now, what are the composition of the syn gas and producer gas? Here it is provided hydrogen CO, CO2, CH4 these are the ranges for syn gas hydrogen is 20 to 30 percent and producer gas 13 to 19 percent, CO for syn gas 40 to 60 percent and producer gas 18 to 22 percent, CO2 5 to 15 percent for syn gas and 9 to 12 percent for producer gas and CH4 0 to 5 percent for syn gas and 1 to 5 percent for producer gas. Heavier hydrocarbon may be present in this and nitrogen 
in case of syngas 0 0.4, 0 0.5 to 4 percent and here 45 to 55 percent. Water vapor 8 to 10 percent for syngas and 4 percent for producer gas. Now, the heating value which is most important in our case. So, for syngas it is 9.3 to 14.9 megajoule per meter cube where it is 4.5 to 6 megajoule per meter cube in case of producer gas. Now, we will see the mechanism of the gasification, how the gasification takes place, what is the mechanism? If we apply heat and controlled amount of oxygen, then what type of changes are going to take place? So, if we have heat stock, then initially you are heating, so then will be char and volatiles formation, volatiles will be going off. So, that uh, volatiles will be further gasified, char will be further gasified and ultimately it will give us syn gas. So, how this gasification taking place? The representation of this process is your C n H m plus half n O 2 that is half m H 2 plus n C O and char gasification, char gasification means it will be having carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. We are ignoring other, other impurities in this case. So, then it will give this is the empirical formula, this is the formula. So, which is explaining that this will be hydrogen production and this will be the CO production from the, this char. Now, you see what is happening, we will be trying to understand more inside the mechanism on the mechanism. Okay. So, this is the gasifier, we are putting feed here and we are putting oxygen or air and steam here. So, gradually feed is getting down and gas goes up. So, here is a grate, this grate is there. So, solids are falling and it is getting in contact with hot gases and different types of processes are going on, changes are going on and ultimately ash is formed and ash is stored on this grate or something is passed through the opening of this grid and here as collection takes place. And what are the different types of changes on the on the on the coal? When it is getting entry here, it is coming in contact with gradually increasing temperature. Why? Because oxygen is provided here. So, more maximum oxygen is available in this zone. As we go up, oxygen concentration reduces. So, once oxygen concentration reduces, then there will be less combustion, the temperature will also fall. So, temperature is highest in this case oxidation zone, high temperature and then the temperature is gradually reducing. So, oxidation up to this say it is stopped, then reduction will take place. If oxygen is not available, then heat is available, endothermic reaction will go on and then reduction will take place. And here pyrolysis will take place, high temperature is there, oxygen is not there, so pyrolysis take place and here we will be having drying, only the moisture will goes up, volatiles will goes up and then these volatiles will be gasified and char will be gasified at this temperature and here char gasification, volatiles gasification will take place. So, this is a different types of phenomena which is going on inside the gasifier that is drying, volatilizations on pyrolysis and then reductions, then oxidation and as cooling. So, unlike incineration, in case of gasification, what is happening? The volatiles are not completely converted, combusted, because the volatiles are produced here say, so it is going off, it is getting less chance to be converted more. So, for fixed bed type of reactor, fixed bed type of gasifier, the flue gas, uh, sorry, the syn gas which is coming out that will not be of that pure, it will be having some volatiles. So, tars will be available with this. So, in 2006 Valero they have presented this phenomenon nicely considering the presence of ash as well as sulphur, nitrogen etcetera. They have given the molecular presentation of the coal that is C H H O O N N S S Z plus A O 2 and this is converted to CO2 
CO, H2O, H2S, N2 and Z, Z is our S. So, this is the reactions they have proposed and they have shown the mass balance and how to calculate A, how to calculate H, O, N, S, Z, etcetera. So, this is one reaction that is your reactions with oxygen, then reactions with carbon dioxide, similar presentation they have provided and then reactions with steam, steam gasification, these are the proposed reactions and then reactions with hydrogen. So, these are the proposed reactions. So, if we use this scheme of reactions, we can predict the compositions completely, what is the H2S compositions, what is nitrogen com compositions, what is CO, what is CO2, etcetera. And important gas phase reactions which takes place here, that is your H2S plus CO2, COS plus H2O is formed. Now, we will discuss about the syngas production and efficiency. What is the syngas production? What will be the fuel gas production or syngas production? That can be calculated on the basis of nitrogen balance and the expression is fuel gas production normal meter cube per kg is equal to air flow rate in normal meter cube per second into 0.79 divided by 1 minus CO plus CO2 plus H2 plus CH4 plus C2H2 by 100 into feeding rate. Now, we are assuming that the syn gas is containing these gases only, it is not having any sulphur or any nitrogen, in that case this formula we are using. So, what is this? 1 minus this by this that is equal to 100, that is equal to 100 minus CO minus CO2 minus H2 minus CH4 minus C2 H2 divided by 100. That means, this is nothing but the nitrogen available in this. As we are providing controlled amount of oxygen, so we are assume that all oxygen is consumed. So, remaining will be nitrogen. So, 100 minus this is equal to nitrogen. So, this is the percentage of nitrogen. So, percentage of nitrogen into we are getting feeding rate and here flue gas production is given. So, that will be the nitrogen available in the fuel gas and this is the nitrogen available in the feedstock. So, nitrogen balance is there, we are assuming that 79 percent is nitrogen. So, that way we are getting this relationship. Now, we can determine the yield of hydrogen and carbon monoxide as hydrogen yield is equal to hydrogen atoms in the syn gas divided by hydrogen atoms injected in the feed and CO yield that is carbon atoms in the formed CO by carbon atoms injected. Now, we will see the efficiency, so efficiency is related with heat. So, obviously, LHV of cold gas that is kilojoule per normal meter cube into fuel gas production that is normal meter cube per kg divided by LHV of the coal treated plus allothermal power by coal flow rate. That means, for unit amount of coal how much energy associated with this process are required. For example, say for size reductions for grinding is required, so that energy is needed, so that is also considered here. So, allothermal energy divided by coal power flow power coal flow rate. So, this is the expressions of the efficiency of the syn gas production process. The conversion efficiency of thermal power plant is between 30 percent and 40 percent for a single cycle steam power plant as you have discussed in our previous class and this can be increased up to 60 percent for a combined cycle gas turbine power plant. Also, we have seen that uh, this is the thermodynamic limit thermodynamically 30, 63 percent efficiency can be in increased. Now, we will see the factors which influence the gasification process, the type of feed injection, what type of feed we are injecting. So, coal may be at the top feed or may be side feed. So, if, if we change the feeding coal feed positions 
then the efficiency will be changed because it will be getting different time to be in contact with the hot gas. And the gasification agent air or oxygen may be used as you have discussed that if we use air more nitrogen will be available in the syngas resulting producer gas and the energy value will also be less. The type of heating what type of we are heating it can be done either by partial combustion of the coal in the gasifier directly or from an external source also indirect heated also possible. So, both these cases efficiency will change and the temperature range at what temperature we are using in the gasification reactor that will also influence the performance and the pressure range under which the gasifiers are operated. So, these are different parameters which influence the performance of the gasification process. So, different types of gasifiers have been tested and developed and used for the coal gasification and different efficiency have been achieved also. The what are the advantage of this process? It reduces carbon dioxide emission as complete combustion is not taking place. So, carbon dioxide emission is reduced with respect to combustion method. Compact equipment requirements with a relatively small footprint, the equipments are very compact and footprint requirement is less and then accurate combustion control as you have already discussed it that we are controlled amount of oxygen we are providing and high thermal efficiency we get more efficiency in this method than the combustion process. Now, we will see the how we will use this the flow sheet and utilization schemes of gasification products. So, we have coal here then we are sending it to gasifier with steam and oxygen then we will get syngas. So, syngas gas has to be cleaned up first the first stage of cleaning. So, we are removing the particulates here and then second stage of cleaning we are removing the sulphur here then it is coming as a pure syngas and syngas there will be some conditioning and then utilization. So, that is we can go for processing that is that is liquid fuels and chemical synthesis. We can separate the hydrogen from the syngas and hydrogen vehicle fuel it can be used hydrogen can be used in fuel cells for, el for electric power or syngas can be sent to gas turbine. So, it will be electrical power production and then ga gas turbine exhaust can further be heated by using some additional fuel and then it can be sent to waste heat boiler and steam can be produced and can be electricity generated from the steam turbine and this condensed from the boiler the steam can be passed here for the gasification and that the bottom what we will get that as that will be slag or metal metal recovery. So, these are the different processes or schemes which can be used for the utilization of products of the gasification process. So, apart from electricity generation we can have number of opportunities to utilize the products which is generated through the gasification. So, we will be having more opportunity to make the process more economic and poly generation option is utilized and recommended for application. Now, we will say major types of gasifiers for coal gasification. So, on the basis of the feed inlet gas collection and the operating conditions different types of gasifiers are reported out of these moving bed, fluidized bed and entrained bed are major three important gasifiers which have been used widely for the gasification of coal and other carbonaceous feedstocks. In the moving bed coal is feed at the top and the particle size is higher say uh, 5 to 50 millimeter particle size. So, it falls from the top and from the bottom oxygen air and steam is sent. So, reaction takes place as I have discussed in the previous slide also. So, gradually it falls and as is getting out from the bottom. So, if we see the temperature profile across the height of the gasifier then this will be the nature. So, if we increase the height from the bottom 
So, gradually temperature will increase and will at its maximum then again it is decreased because oxidation is taking place at the middle of this. So, that is having the maximum temperature it is around 1800 degree centigrade temperature it can give, but if we see the fluorized bed coal is put here. So, here steam oxygen or air then there will be some fluorizations of the particles will be taking smaller particles here and then that will be in fluorized form and due to this reason what will be the temperature profile across its, uh, its, its height this is. So, it will gradually increase remain constant most of the part and then it is decreased up to this part it will be constant and it is decreased this part will temperature will drastically decrease. And another is entrained flow reactor here we send coal and then steam oxygen or air very finer particles are used the particle size is much smaller than this fluorized bed and both all these coal steam and or air or air or oxygen flows in the same direction. So, it gets less residence time and as collected here and gas goes from this at the bottom due to this feature that if we see the temperature distribution along the height of it it is almost constant and maximum on this, but not maximum here we will, we will get maximum temperature because oxidation is single it is it's certain zone, but here uniformly distributed the phenomena. So, these are the temperature profile across the height of the gasifier for different types of gasifiers and this we have already come to know that here the less time is less residence time and smallest particle size with respect to these three gasifiers. But this fluorized bed gasifiers have some advantage that it can in situ capture of sulfur. So, that is why transport reactor gasifier has been developed by KBR. So, in this case we have the intermediate properties both the fluorized bed and entrain bed properties are available here. How? We are putting here fuel then adsorbent we are putting some adsorbent also that is to capture the sulfur and then oxygen or air and steam all are here in coming into this reactor. Then it is going up this riser section very small time it is getting for contact then it is coming to this. So, it is falling again and the gas is coming here particulate separation it is coming back. So, that way here we are getting the benefits of fluidized bed we are getting the benefits of entrain bed. So, both features are available in transport reactor. So, in this case we do not need to use very finer particles than that of entrain bed. Now, we will see the comparison of this type of gasifiers. So, fixed bed fluidized bed you see these are the technology licensors BGL Lurge Dryas that is the fixed bed and KTW IDGCC and KRW and Mitsui Babcock. So, these are the technology licensors and typical process conditions for these are the combustion, combustion temperature is 130 degree centigrade and uh, slurry feed if it is and if it is a dry feed then 1500 to 1800 degree centigrade, but gas outlet temperature is less 400 to 500 degree centigrade and pressure is this much and particle size already discussed cool gas efficiency is high, but fluorized bed the combustion temperature is more, but lesser than this and gas outlet temperature is more than this one and pressure requirement is also this one and residence time is less particle size is less coal gas efficiency is medium. If we go for entrain bed gasifier then 1500 degree centigrade reaction temperature gas outlet temperature is also higher than other two types of gasifiers then pressure requirement this and retention time is also lesser and these are the particle size less than 200 mesh very fine particles are required. Now, we see the transport reactor it is in between. So, temperature is 900 to 105 degree 50 degree centigrade gas outlet temperature 590 to 980 and residence time 1 to 10 second just like your entrain bed 
and uh, size is less than 50 micron. So, we do not need to get 200, 200 means 70 microns and it is also it is having 50 micron size. Now, we will see the advanced process in gasifications. The plasma gasification is one of the advancement in the gasification process. In this case, we use high voltage across the two electrode. So, in that case, the electrons are emitted, then electron ac accelerates free electrons. Electrodes accelerates free electrons and free electrons helps, helps to oxidize or ionize the ions, adjacent ions and molecules and then number of electrons are produced which forms a avalanche that is called streamer. So, that is called the plasma in this case torch power levels from 100 kilowatt to 200 megawatt and produce energy densities up to 100 megawatt per meter cube. So, in these cases different uh, free radicals are formed which converts the different types of uh, components present in the coal to its oxidized form. So, C is converted to CO2, H is converted to uh, H2O, N is converted to NO2, S is SO2 like this. But typically it has been shown that uh, the CO and H2 gas remains in higher concentration. These are some coal based gasifiers around the world. So, China, um, Germany, Italy, Netherlands and South Africa, Spain and USA in these countries different gasifiers are the plants are there where the gasification process is in practice and different types of products they are producing. They somewhere we are getting say uh, FT fluids and then electricity, some are ammonia, some are town gas and electricity, some are ammonia, again some syn gas, some are methanol mm, okay. and then so, uh, we are getting some are FT fluids and methanol and chemicals and SNG and then electricity. So, some diesel and electricity is also produced by some plants and different types of cleaning options are also used rectisol, sulfenol, MDA etcetera. So, I will discuss this in next uh, class. Okay. So, thank you very much for your patience.